Okay, hi everybody. My name is Olli Pekonen and uh, I'm going to show you the contents of the lamination introduction package of uh, Benek Luminec displays. Uh, the shipment comes in two boxes. We have the smaller box uh, with the electrical parts, cabling, USB sticks, drivers and such. And then the larger box contains uh, the glassware, the display panel. Okay, so let's take a look into the smaller box first, the electrical parts. Uh, first of all, we have the power to supply power to the electronics and to the display. And the associated mains power cord. Then we have a standard USB cable to connect the drivers to a computer for changing the script inside of the electronics. And the script governs what type of uh, segment pattern is run when the sig uh, signal is fed to the display. Then we have a standard USB stick, which is basically just the drivers and the necessary software parts to run the display. And finally the box that basically does the driving for the display. Okay, now it's time to take a look into the larger box that contains the glass parts, the display parts and the associated training material for the uh, for the lamination process. Uh, the tests should be tried out first with these mechanical samples. There are four samples in the back and the size is uh, more or less identical to the size of the actual display. Uh, so uh, this little pouch contains four identical uh, pieces of samples. Uh, then next we have the mechanical samples with the flex cable attached. Now the purpose of this sample is uh, that the customer can also try out how the lamination is accomplished with the flex cable and the glass attached together before attempting the lamination of the actual working display. These samples are identical to the functional displays, but they do not have uh, uh, any functional thin films. So they don't basically uh, give out any light. And then finally, we have the functional displays. They are identical to the mechanical samples, but when laminated and uh, connected properly, uh, they will give out light, like a regular segmented display. You can tell them apart from this little text here, which is uh, printed uh, right next to the pouch edge. So uh, here we have the uh, system up and running. We have the electrical box, the control box connected with the flexible printed circuit board, the flex cable to the display glass. And as you can see, it's running nicely. Uh, it usually makes this little high pitched uh, whining sound, but obviously when it's laminated to the glass, nobody can hear it. And uh, of course, as it is, uh, non-encapsulated, it has absolutely no cover glass, it's very fragile, so pay attention when uh, moving it and use some sort of a cushion underneath it when you do these tests. So as you can see the ELT40 display is automated, inspired. Uh, it has for example battery indicator, then a standard 4 digit the 7 segment numerical part, temperature related symbols and uh, things like that. So in all, it's a very nice display for lamination trials uh, containing a lot of true functional features of value to the, to the end user. Okay, then finally, here we have the laminated uh, display sitting in the middle of a laminated glass sheet. So this could be a fragment of a car windshield, for example. Uh, as you can see, it's sitting very neatly, very visible, 
the edges of the display is perfectly blended into the interlayer so the display is not when it's in the off state it's virtually invisible gives you beautiful yellow light uh, and the uh, display is run through the same uh, electrical box that we used previously so thanks for watching